Welcome back to my channel guys, this is Benito and this is tutorial number 6. In this tutorial I'll teach you how to use the switch component in the app designer. So let's open up app designer that I have opened already. So the switch is all the way at the bottom here. So these three are the three different switches that we have. So the code for this is pretty much the same. So we'll just use this one for example because I like this and then in this example we'll just use a lamp so if we turn the switch on then the lamp should turn green so we'll just get rid of this label oh I just deleted the entire thing so click on this and then click delete okay so something that I forgot to mention in the previous tutorials is that this what you see here in the UI figure is what you see when you run the app. So there is different ways to change this but I'll show you that in a later tutorial. So we know that the switch is in off when it starts so we'll change the color of the lamp to red by just simply clicking on the lamp and changing the color to red. So we know that if we run this then we'll get a red lamp. So to so when we click on when we switch the switch to on it should turn green. So to do this we need to add a callback so we'll right click on the switch and then add a value changed function callback. So that's a, a callback which tells you well where you can define what happens to a certain component when the value is switched. So MATLAB gives you this um, predefined line which is value equals app.switch.value. So we'll use this actually this time what we have to do is write an if statement so if and then we use a special function called strcmp and what this means is is it's a inbuilt function which compares strings so it's a string comparison it's short for string comparison so in brackets what we will say so this is string one and this is string two so the first string will be the value so what's the value of the switch um, which is which is what we get from here and then we will say the value if the value is on so this is how you define so you're comparing the value of the switch and checking if it's on so if the value is on then we want app dot lamp lamp dot color to change to green so we'll just say so if the value is on then it will be green else it will be red and then we will end so let's try and run this So when you open it up, you basically see what's you, what you see in the UI figure. And then when you switch this value, you should get green. When you switch it off, you should get red. So it's as simple as that. The, the key point here is the string comparison, which is, what's, which is what is uh, different to the other components. So we can use the same thing on different switches. So we'll use a rocker switch and a toggle switch so we can do a similar thing we can literally add a callback function to each of these switches and say we can copy this in so you can see the it's a switch 2 so this is switch 2 and you can copy the same thing in and um, so this should work now. Let's run it. Okay, so if we switch it on, it's green. Now let's do the same for the switch three. So it's exactly the same. What you do is simply you can copy and paste this. And for a change, we can just say this is blue. So we know that switch three is different. 
let's run it. Green, off red, on, green, off red, on, green, off blue. So that's the difference. You can define whatever color you like. So that's it guys, this is how you use the switch function. And instead of using a lamp, you can, you can use the switch to control um, a lot of other things. So you can say, if the switch is on, then run a model on Simulink, or if the switch is on, then you know plot a graph and different things like that. So hope you learned something new in this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next tutorial, where I'll show you how to use these discrete knobs, knob, um, and how we can do some cool stuff with this. Thank you guys.